here at the Australian Space Agency and I'm about to go meet the person who could become Australia's first female astronaut. Let's do this. Hello. Hi, I'm Catherine Bunnell Pegg. Welcome to the Australian Space Discovery Centre. Let's have a look around. Great. Catherine has just received some pretty exciting news. The Australian Space Agency and European Space Agency agreed to train me uh, as Australia's first astronaut candidate, which is so great. I'm so excited. She's heading off to Germany for about a year of training, which might mean one day she could go to space. The thing that excites me the most about going to space is the fact that I'd be helping teams of scientists and engineers on Earth make new discoveries. From the eye in the sky up there, you can see all sorts of phenomena around the world. You can look at um, the environment, you can look at refugee movements, you can detect bushfires and floods and help warn people about them. I'd also love to see the Earth from space. Earth looks fragile and I think that's a really important perspective to gain up there. I have a question about moonwalking. Will they teach me how to moonwalk, as long as it's not the dance version? <laughs> I'm a bit uncoordinated that way. But I think we do spacewalk training underwater and you pretend you're in space by being underwater so you can learn how to move in zero gravity. Catherine, can you tell us a little bit about how you got here? Well, I've always loved space. I grew up on the northern beaches of Sydney, which has a beautiful, bright, starry sky at night. And I used to love being out in the garden, looking at the stars. And when I realised that those stars weren't just pinpricks of light, but were planets or entire galaxies, whole new worlds waiting to be explored, I wanted to have that adventure. I wanted to be the one exploring them. You know, when we had our careers counselling sessions, they said, write down three different things you'd like to be. And I wrote down one astronaut and refused to write any more. According to the UN, only 11% of astronauts have been women. And in STEM in general, women make up less than 30%. So important to get more young women into STEM subjects and jobs, because STEM is for everyone. We need all sorts of creativity and thought in order to solve all the problems that we need to solve through space. As a woman in the space industry, I've absolutely been in the minority for most of my career, but this hasn't held me back at all. Certainly there's been occasions where you get small cuts or people try and bring you down a little bit. And I think that by just doing your best and showing what you're capable of, people very quickly see that everyone's equal and everyone has ideas to contribute. Everyone's in there trying to achieve the same goals for space. I actually have one more question. Do you believe in aliens? Oh, I absolutely believe in aliens. There's so many stars in the sky. The probability of there being life out there is so huge. They probably look like little bacteria. I'm not really sure, but I think it would be really wonderful to discover life elsewhere in our solar system because that helps us understand how life was created on Earth.